today is Thursday, 24th of August. It's 9 a.m. I'm taking you along with me on what has to be a very productive day as a summer intern. This summer, I'm interning at a Spanish think tank. The way my internship works, it's remote. I am currently in Costa Brava in my summer house. I work for five to six hours a day. Usually the way I organize myself is that I work from nine to two, and then I get to have my afternoon off. Today is different though. Today I'm gonna be working both in the morning and in the afternoon because tomorrow I have a final round interview that takes up three hours of my morning. So I thought that I might as well try to make up for the time I will be losing tomorrow and just in general by working the whole day today and concentrating on the interview tomorrow. My responsibilities right now are basically researching on a certain topic that the think tank is interested in writing a paper on. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for most of the day, just reading papers and taking notes from them, drawing conclusions, and then kind of making it all into a nice clean draft that I can send over to my boss. So today is basically gonna be a lot of researching, a lot of working, and some interview prep, and yeah. because it got very noisy over there because it's next to the kitchen but I just finished reading another paper given that it is 32 degrees outside and as you can see I am glowing I'm gonna take a very quick dip in the pool to try to cool down uh, and then I'll get back to working until lunchtime but it is so so warm it's bad and this is one of the amazing things of remote working that you get to literally jump in the pool in the middle of your working day. reading and then I found a job post that I think I could actually be a suitable candidate for so I'm currently writing a cover letter for that and then I'll get back to reading and also the next reading was like 30 pages long turn of events there was a power outage right when i was about to submit my job application so i obviously wasn't able to send that in this also meant that lunch was postponed for over an hour because we couldn't cook anything so that changed my plan slightly and delayed everything 
I ended up getting back to work later than I would have wanted to and even then the power was still not back. Luckily, the papers that I wanted to read had downloaded so I was able to access them without Wi-Fi and I could take some notes offline so that's what I did for the rest of the afternoon. Later in the evening, I changed into a slightly cuter outfit because my sisters and I wanted to have some after work drinks at literally the only bar in my summer town. It is many hours later. What a day. Yeah, the electricity just kind of dipped it came back about half an hour ago i've just been sending emails sent out a job application i was taking care of some handover admin stuff that i had to finalize for a society that i used to be involved in during my last year of uni so just did that closing of the season and yeah i think we're gonna have dinner in a bit we tried to go have a drink in like the only restaurant in the town and it was closed because of the power outage so uh, that was unfortunate we also tried to go there yesterday and wednesdays are apparently the only day of the week they close so today they were closed because of the power outage and yesterday they were just closed because so yeah very unlucky i guess it just wasn't meant to be this afternoon didn't end up being as productive because i just didn't have wi-fi and there was also no light in the house so I started getting this huge headache when I tried to read papers and it was dark inside the room and whatever. We did our best. I have an interview tomorrow, which I haven't really prepped for, but I think it's fine. I wanted this video to be like a perfect productive day. I really wanted to go all out, but you know, that's life. Sometimes things like this happen and it's fine. I still worked quite well in the morning and some of the afternoon, so it's okay, it was out of my control. Now it's time to properly unwind, have dinner, and just, yeah. Hey.